Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Elvis A2Z. It has been a while. Um, I've got a new laptop. I've got a lot of exciting new toys, so I've been playing around with it, getting all my settings back up. And I'm going to do a review here that I've been promising for a few weeks uh, for Jerry. But I want to, before I get started into that, um, I want to uh, carry on over from my introduction about the Circle G Foundation that I am proudly an ambassador for. And uh, we do have a newsletter that comes out regularly. I believe it's quarterly at this point. And we just had our first issue. And in it, it brings it talks about Circle G Rants, where it stands, uh, conditions, and, it, and also about the foundation, which this year our charity is Dementia, which is very close for me because for some of you, a lot of you know that I lost my mother three months ago to Dementia. So um, I'm so proud to be a part of that part, a part of that uh, foundation. And uh, also, too, you can uh, contribute yourself with some stories, your Elvis stories, no matter what they may be. It could be what you like about them, how you discovered them, uh, your love for them, anything. Um, we would love to share it. And the more people that we have subscribed to it, the more we can um, make it a community and get the awareness out there that uh, Circle G was a very big part of Elvis's life. And uh, it would be sad to see it um, uh, go away. It is a historical marker now, so um, that's good. So today I am fulfilling a promise, and I'm also fulfilling my my want in reviewing a movie from the Elvis Presley Film Society. Now, <laughs> this company's been around since 1995, and for all of you know that I've been a fan since 1962. And I don't know why in the world, I, 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 maybe I just don't remember it. Maybe it's because I'm getting old. But I've never heard of this company um, or this, this society. And uh, they are in um, uh, uh, Glasgow, but um, that doesn't mean anything because I get a lot of stuff from uh, out, of, out of the country. But I want to thank Michelle Last for bringing it to my attention. And once I got the DVD of this film, Elvis, the dramatic actor, I knew that um, I knew that um, I wanted to see more of what they have. And uh, the thing I like about the Elvis Presley Film Society is, especially based upon what happened last year with the, or this year with the Academy Awards, we know that the, that the film industry is a very political business anymore. But I have always loved and more independent filmmakers. And this one is a great one. Um, Jerry does a great job with this, his whole team. And uh, so um, I ordered it right away. And there will be some information down in the description of how you email ordering yourself. He'll send you a list of everything he has. Um, as soon as I got that list, I ordered 10 more, eight more DVDs. And I ordered a book that Jerry wrote, and uh, which I will eventually do a review on. And if I can find it here. Elvis Presley, The Power and the Persecution by Jerry McLafferty. So I'm excited about reading that and getting a review i've got a few new books that i just received it so um i've got several ones here that pique my interest on suspicious minds on the making of some of the movies so let's get to this one um so i uh let me get this doing here so um that's the cover of the dvd dramatic actor and the thing it's about an hour and 20 minutes hour and a half long and it talks about how good of an actor Elvis really was, especially in the dramatic side. But we also know that Elvis had a strong comedic side to him too. My favorite movie, Follow That Dream, we see that in. Um, but uh, in this, um, there's clips from the movies, but we, and we have some, I'm, I'm gonna let this slide throw, flow run through. So, you, you know, you got, you, you'll have Kid Galahad, some clips from Kid Galahad from Charles. Um, Wild in the Country, which that's a great movie. I watched it not long ago. It's been a while. Now, um, I'm going to pause that for a second. Let me see if I can go back. Hal Wallace. For those of you who don't know, of course, Hal Wallace probably, I think, directed more of Elvis's movies than anybody else. He, um, he did Loving You, 
King Creole, GI Blues, Blue Hawaii, Girls, 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 Fun in Acapulco, Roustabout, Paradise Hawaiian Style, and Easy Come, Easy Go. And there is an awesome interview in here. I had never seen this interview before, or not the whole thing that, that was in here. And he speaks highly of Elvis, as do uh, you know, the majority of the directors that, that um, directed Elvis in the movies. So, but he, you know, he, he, uh, he, he uh, had a big choice, uh, an effect on Elvis's um, movie career. And uh, Elvis and him were very good friends throughout, became very good friends throughout the years. Uh, you know, some more scenes. This was a great scene with, with his father and Jan Shepard, King Creole. Um, now, there's a great interview also with Walter Matthau uh, from King Creole. I thought about putting a few clips in here, but you know what? It'd be better if you just get the movie and watch them yourselves. The movies are very, um, uh, very economical, um, and uh, you, you will be very pleased. But it's a great, I, I had read an interview with Walter Matthau, and I believe years ago I saw the interview, but this, it was just nice to refresh my memory about Walter Matthau and what he had to say about Elvis. Um, really nice little little uh, bit in there about what how you know, what he's told of how to act with Elvis. Jan Shepard, she's the lady that played Elvis's center, sister, and she was in another one, I believe. She was in Paradise Hawaiian Style with with Elvis. Also, I can't believe I can't remember that. But anyways, she, nice interview with her. Her and, her and Elvis. She talks about Elvis's habits as an actor of how he would study and he would know all the lines of everybody. I think a lot of us know that. Um, so that's a great, nice little interview. Um, Flaming Star, nice clip from that. Um, and then King Creole uh, again. So um, it, once again, they talk about his offset, his, how he studied off, offset. He was just very religious. He wanted to be an actor. I think he wanted to be an actor more than he wanted to be the big rock star that he became. Unfortunately, a lot of things kept him from achieving that, and it's sad. Um, so, you know, it's just too bad that he never had the chance to become an Academy Award. But there's a good, it's a good little mention about Warren Beatty and what he had to say about some opportunities that uh, Elvis could have had in, in, in some movies in the 50s. Um, we're going to kind of go through a few of these, but, uh, of course there's Elvis. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever seen this movie, the Manchurian candidate, but, um, they talk a little bit about Elvis having, you know, a possibility of having been in this one. Can you imagine him with Frank Sinatra, Lawrence Harvey, uh, Janet Lee? I don't know which role he would have taken, probably Lawrence Harvey. Um, but uh, that was a great movie, um, better than the remake that they did with uh, Denzel Washington. If you if you haven't seen The Manchurian Candidate, check it out. Um, so, you know, it's just some of these opportunities that I learned a lot of things about Elvis's movie career and the opportunities that I never knew he had. I had heard that there was talk about him being in West Side Story. Um, once again... That's a movie with some singing in it, but it's a little bit different than some, you know, a beach song and chasing girls and singing to, as he put, turtles and dogs. Um, Billy Graham, director of Change of Habit, uh, he um, a little bit. He talks a little bit about um, so uh, what he considers a bad habit of Elvis's in prepping or um, acting. So, um, but it's kind of curious to know the different viewpoints of some of the different directors now. We've all heard about the story about A Star is Born and uh, uh, Barbara Streisand approaching Elvis to be in it. Um, of course, we know Chris Christopherson paid that, played that role. Here's a little song that was from that movie I just thought I'd throw in here. Baker's standing on the corner Sing your song Sing it for Um, so there would have been some singing for him, at, but once again, uh, I think it would have been uh, a, a, a very good role for him to have played. Um, I liked Chris Christopherson. Um, um, I'm not a big, huge fan of Barbara Streisand. I like her more as a 
Well, well, she's a good singer. It made more more of a personal. I'll, I'll leave that alone. <laughs> so, um, you know, so the, that that was, I think, that kind of tore at Elvis for a while of having never been in it. And George Klein talks about that, about how Elvis really wanted that movie, and they talk a little bit about why it didn't happen, and um, you know, just oh, this is a gratuitous photo. Everybody knows and knows me that. Shelley February is my favorite co-star of Elvis's, so I threw that in there as a gratuitous photo. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, uh, she was in Clambake w w with Elvis. Um, and then, oh, threw another one in there, photo number two. Now, this, is, this was something, I don't think I ever heard about this before, but I believe, if you never saw Midnight Cowboy, it came out in 1969. And it was um, it was actually originally rated R, and then they made it rated X because of the topic um, of homosexuality in it. But if they, if Elvis had been in the role like some people had talked about, probably the the um, John Voight role, um, I'm sure some of that would have been mm, maybe taken out, or I'm not for sure how they would have done it. Uh, it but uh, that movie wound up winning the best picture of the year um, that year. And uh, it's really a good movie. Dustin Hoffman and John Voight. It's very intense, very good movie. So if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Uh, so, they, you know, they talk a little bit about that. Um, there's one of the uh, posters for it. Um, and then, of course, there was a talk about doing some kind of uh, martial arts picture with Bruce Lee. Um, I'd heard about that before. Um, and then some talk about uh, Elvis being in True Grit, playing the uh, Glen Campbell role. Um, and, and True Grit's also the movie that John Wayne won the Academy Award for, Best Actor. Um, what a duel that would have been. Um, I think that would have been something. I, I believe John Wayne had a very, um, a lot of respect and really liked Elvis. Um, now, this one would have been interesting. There's a little bit of talk about this, too. I'm going to not get too much in details, but if you haven't seen this original movie, um, Elvis in the role of Tony Curtis, who I think was El one of Elvis's favorite actors, and Sidney Poitier, they had kind of a kind of a talked a little bit about him and being played by Sammy Davis Jr. So that would have been an interesting role, really interesting role. I I, I love this movie, and I just the thought of Elvis playing it. Ah, any you know so. Let's see. Um, so anyways, Elvis Presley, dramatic actor. Great movie from the Elvis Presley uh, Film Society. Um, I will have the, uh, how to order it. You're gonna, you can email him and they get, he's very good about getting right back to you. But treat yourself to this, to this um, film. Um, you'll enjoy it. It's an hour and 20 minutes. I've watched it three times. Uh, written and narrated by Jerry McLafferty. And here's the original shot from the uh, first first thing right here. Elvis Presley Film Society, established in 1995. Tells you a little bit of history about it. So the links I'll have down in the description. But once again, um, treat yourself to that. I'm going to play a little um, clip of the song, which from the Midnight Cowboy called Everybody's Talking by Harry Nilsson. And just imagine Elvis having done this. I'm going to close it out with this. Thank you very much for um, for watching. And I look forward. I got a few more videos I got to work on today. And I'm excited to be doing this again. Thanks. Everybody's talking at me. I don't hear words they're saying. Only the echoes of my mind. TCB.